the application is more similar to Opera Mini in that we've got uh, a client and a server architecture as opposed to the iPhone, which is a pure fat client style architecture. <laughs> so the client server architecture, we believe, is the right way to solve this problem. We don't do things the same way Opera Mini does. We have a different architecture. So that, that's a similar model. So okay. the client and the server both share the load. Um, the places where we can optimize performance, we can put it on the phone. The places where the server is better off, we'll let the server do the work. So there's a there's a trade-off back and forth there. That we the beauty of our architecture. You know, that the architecture that we've defined is protocol agnostic, so we don't really care whether it's Flash or QuickTime or something else. And so for each one of these things, you know, there's some work that we do to get everything up and running. But basically, you know, if Flash come out tomorrow with Flash 10, it will work. currently we support the Windows Mobile devices, Windows Mobile 5 and 6, um, touchscreen and non-touchscreen. Um, we're still working on the non-core any phones, so the 12 key phones and things. We're still rolling those out. That'll be coming our, our real soon. Uh, Symbian support is going to be rolling out next for Symbian Series 60. Um, and then we'll announce more products as time goes on. Symbian's next on our rollout. Uh, iPhone is an interesting one in particular, but uh, yeah, uh, Blackberry, that's definitely one that we're interested in. Right. You know, the specifics of each platform we're not talking about right now. We've, we're very familiar with what Mozilla is doing, um, both in mobile and desktop. Um, Minimo in its current incarnation is really just a squeezed down version of the full-blown Firefox on the desktop, which has created a lot of problems, um, both memory footprint, performance, uh, just how the application works. Um, so that model for these style devices, we believe, is, is, is a flawed way to do things right now. Um, and for a decent amount of time in the future, both because the performance of the devices, um, the CPUs they have, you know, is not a desktop CPU, so you're trying to take a desktop application into this. Um, and the networks, you know, if you have a full fat client on the phone, you've got to suck down the whole web page when you want to do it. And you know, the uh, wireless networks really aren't up to that level of snuff yet. They're not equivalent to broadband networks. I mean, places they are, but in the worldwide, they're not even close yet. So the advantage of having the client server are architecture where you can minimize that footprint that has to go across the wire is, is highly advantageous on real networks. Um, so, but that style of application does make sense for higher-end devices, but then you run into the issue of porting all the plugins for it, you know, a la iPhone and anything else trying to get Flash and QuickTime and all these things working. Now you have that problem. So that's what a lot of people are doing. I can give you the browser on your phone, but nothing else. And we don't think that's very compelling. The application and the technology is completely homegrown. We built that from the ground. Up. We do leverage open source stuff, um, so there's there's quite a bit of open source that we use where we can. So we certainly don't reinvent things that we don't need to. But the, the core technology of the thing is all in-house. But the browser is is not open source. The, app, the client application is not. This incarnation, it's a C++ application, so it's not Flash.